Okay, y'all, this is a Dell T5810, and there's a shit ton of these in the 7810s on eBay. But what they're not coming with, as a general rule, is this little stupid power adapter cable, which goes in there, right there on your board, and that provides PCI Express power for your video cards. Um, let's see if I can get that in there one-handed. Um, and the only ones that you can really find between eBay and Amazon is the 6-pin, the one on the board to two 6-pin adapters. And getting an 8-pin card to work is easy. I've just got a 6-pin to double 8-pin adapter here, and I'm only using one of the 8-pins. Um, but these cases for a server card like this this is a AMD Fire Pro S9050 because I don't have a, I've only got a 685 watt power supply so there's not enough ass in here to run my S10000 um, which requires 400 watts this card only requires 200 actually two two and a quarter um, and most of these machines whether they're 7810 or um, 5810 they're coming with pieces of shit, PCI Express 2.0, K2000s. You see a few that'll actually come with this cable with a K4000 or some junk AMD 512 meg, whatever the hell they could throw in there to get them out the door. Um, and other than there's not enough airflow through the case, these are really nice machines, whether it's the 5810 single processor or the 7810 dual processor. They are really nice machines for Dell, and I don't normally compliment Dell. I love my HPs and IBMs, but uh, Dell is typically junk. The least shit they can possibly give you for the most amount of money. But this one, these are pretty nice machines. Of course, then again, they're enterprise workstations, so they kind of have to be. Uh, memory cooler's pretty nice, ducted well. Um, CPU-wise, they'll take a... Um, I've had E5 2699s in them. Most of these are coming off of eBay with quad cores and hex cores, little junk socket 2011 V3 CPUs. Um, and the later revisions will take a V4 chip. Um, I don't recommend it though. I recommend st sticking with V3. I'm not sure which chip I left in this. If it was the E5 2699 or the 2690. But I think I left the 12 core in it. I think I took the 18 core out. And I think that's sitting in the box over there ready to go. I basically I've been using this machine to test chips and play with operating systems see how how compatible the Dell really is and so far this one's like CentOS it's like Suzy obviously it's a Dell so it's gonna love all that Windows crap and y'all all know that I am anti Microsoft I am you know if there was an Antichrist for Microsoft I would be it but now I did have to make some modifications because like I said the cooling in these cases sucks this card was intended for a server that has a lot better airflow so what I did is I used one of these little adapters SATA to, to um, I got a mess going on down there to regular Molex and then out to two wires to a 12 volt squirrel cage fan and of course a zip tie and this is actually a um, cooling shroud for the memory on an IBM A Pro <laughs> and it's been taped and super glued together the tape is moot at this point because the super glue is already hardened and it is permanent and stable it'll stay on that card forever I failed to leave myself very much room to work with that cable in there that does take an 8 pin cable that's the reason for this I went from 6-pin to 8-pin with an adapter here, and there's plenty of power for this S9050, and as long as I don't put anything on the second plug. <laughs>
but um, I just figured I'd show you that you don't have to I mean the machines gonna be in one place its entire life so you don't have to get rocket science about your cooling but you do have to cover your cooling when you're putting in a decent video card and the primary focus here is you know adapting your cables and they make all these I mean the guy out of Indiana is selling the board to six pin PCIe power cables um, not sure where this cable came from but it's six pin to eight pin or double six pin it doesn't care um, and this is a common SATA to Molex because these don't have Molex connectors and that squirrel cage fan that was the only thing it would hook up to they're really nice little machines for Dells and anyway there's how you do it I hope that helps somebody if it didn't help anybody oh well if it did great that was the intention oh yeah and drives wise I didn't bother mounting my drives that's just a little piece of shit SATA down there I've been testing CentOS and Suzy and a couple other operating systems the big drive down there I'm just using for porn storage now watch some liberal will think I really have a drive filled with porn fuck no I set pragma equals no cache and I watch my porn on the internet like a real like anyone else um, yeah. let's see yeah that's about it not really a whole lot to tell about these machines uh, E5 2699 seems to be the most they'll take. Um, there are E7 Haswell CPUs. I haven't tried any. I'm not going to. Um, so we'll holler at y'all later.